Hello guys, you're welcome again to another After Effects Tutorials and today I want to show you how you can create a magic box logo animation in Adobe After Effects like this. So support me on this one, do not forget to like the video, hit the subscribe button and do not forget to turn on the notification bell then come back let's get started. Now back into After Effects, we're going to create a new composition. We're going to name these sides. And I'm going to make this a square resolution 600 pixel by 600 pixel. I'm going to leave this to 30 frames per second and then the entire duration 10 seconds. Then hit OK. I'm going to right click on my timeline, go to New and create a new solid layer. This is going to be our BG. Make sure the color is set to white. If not, do that right now and then hit OK. Now it's time to import our Lego and all the elements we're going to use in this tutorial. So navigate to where you have your file saved. Drag and drop the logo file into your project manager window. Then we're going to set the importation settings to footage and then hit OK. This is going to import our logo. Then drag and drop it into your timeline right here. So we have multiple logos here and I'm going to set one of it, which is this. Feel free to set your own logo. So pick the rectangle tool. I'm going to just size this down so that I can isolate every other logo associated with this file. So I'm also going to center this. So once you add your logo, we're going to add some random shapes that are related to what your business is. So feel free to choose your own. So I'm going to start with adding a text layer so that I can get some random shape from there. Now feel free to fill the entire space with different elements associated with your business. Now we have this, I'm going to go with this. So I'm going to simply add animations and movement to these shapes so that we can have some uh, organic movement. So first of all, I'm going to start with the center logo. I'm going to add a basic scale. After I added animation to all the layers, the first one right here, I add wiggle to the rotation. Then I added uh, a time expression to this plus icon and also this one. And I manually keyframe the equal to icon right here and add a wiggle expression. Like you can see in the screen, copy the wiggle and then paste it to the position. You can also find these expressions that I have used right here on the description. So we're going to move to the next stage. We're going to control N our keyboard to create a new composition. We're going to name this main and we're going to make this resolution 1920 by 1080. I'm going to leave the frame per second to be the same with what I have before and the duration and then hit OK. So we're going to drag and drop these sides into our composition right here. Then we're going to make this a 3D layer. Toggle your timeline and then make this a 3D layer. Then hit A on your keyboard and make the Z anchor point to 300. Of course, this value here may be different in your own case, especially if you did not use the composition size that I have started with. Make sure whatever value is on the X and Y, just sum it up to be the same thing with the Z value. So I'm going to duplicate this five more times. Control D on your keyboard to do that. So we're going to select and make changes to the orientation of these first two on the Y axis. So I'll hit R on my keyboard to bring the rotation property. On this axis, I'm going to make this 90. And I'm going to select the second layer and hit R on my keyboard. Then make the Y axis 270. So for the next three layers, I'm going to make changes to the orientation, but this time 
on the x axis. I'm going to make this one 180. I'll hit R and make this one 270 on the x axis. I'll select the second to the last layer here, hit R on my keyboard and make the x axis 90. Before we proceed to the next stage, we're going to right click on our timeline, then go to new and add a new camera. We're going to accept the default setting right here and hit OK. Right click on your timeline, go to new and then create a new null object. We're going to rename this the camera control. Make sure you align it to center. Make it a 3D layer and then make the camera a child of the 3D null object. So now if you select the null object, hit R on your keyboard. If you make changes to the rotation, you will see that we now have a 3D box with our logo in it. Then scroll down and select the bottom layer. We're going to add a simple choker effect. We need to switch this panel to FX and control. And we're going to make the choke mat to negative 15. And that will give us a little black outline on the box right here. So we're going to simply copy this simple choker effect. Control C on your keyboard to do that. So select the remaining sides of the box. And Control V on your keyboard to paste the simple choker all around. As you can see, we have it going around. So go back to the top layer. Right click on your timeline. Go to new and add a new adjustment layer. We're going to name this invert. And we're going to add the invert effect on this layer. This is why in your first step, everything has to be black and white with your logo and everything or any other shape element you want to add. Because in this case, if you are inverting, if it is gray, you also see the effect right here. However, all works. We're going to right click on our timeline again and create a new adjustment layer. We're going to name this uh, glow. On this layer, we're going to add for add the fast box blur effect. We're going to make the interaction 5. And we're going to make the blur radius 32. We're going to create yet another new adjustment layer. But before we add another effect to this new adjustment layer, select the glow adjustment layer effect, toggle your timeline, and then make the mode screen. And then select your newly adjustment layer. We're going to call that radial. And we're going to add a CC fast radial blur. We're going to increase the blow value to any amount that we feel is okay to our eyes but i'm gonna go with uh, 90. so on the mode we're gonna change this to add yet we're gonna create a new adjustment layer again we're gonna name this color and we're gonna add the tritone effect to this so at this point, feel free to change these colors on the effects and control to whatever you may like. I'm going to also change the highlight to somewhat lighter blue. Let me try yellow and see what effect it will have. So if this is what you are going for, feel free to set your color. 
and then hit OK. Now it is time to add a movement to this, our 3D magic box. So I'm going to select the camera controller and I'm going to animate the scale and rotation. I'll move my time indicator to about 9 seconds forward in time and set a keyframe for the X and Y values. Of course, at this point, we have to set our finishing position. If this is already what you want, you can leave it like this. So I'm just going to leave this for the purpose of this tutorial. So at that spot, I'm going to hold down shift on my keyboard and hit S on my keyboard to reveal the scale property while still keeping other keyframe visible. I will also set a keyframe at that point, then hit here on my keyboard so that I can only see my keyframes. I'm going to move the scale keyframe to about two seconds forward in time. Then I'll move my time indicator to zero and change these values to one, one for each of the rotation. Then I'm going to adjust the scale. Of course, if you are reducing it to lower value, it is zooming in. So you are free to choose whatever values you want. So I'm going to start from this point. I will select all the keyframes on my timeline. Hit F9 on my keyboard to easy ease. I will select this scale keyframe, switch to my graph editor and edit the speed graph like this. If you preview now, this is what you have. Of course, all this is up to you. Follow your creativity. I'm only showing you the part. Now I'm going to add one simple expression again that I have used in the previous composition. So I'm going to select the camera controller, hit P on my keyboard and alt click on the position time watch right here. I'm just going to add the wiggle expression that is wiggle open bracket five comma 10 comma then close bracket to so this is going to be wiggling the camera as it zooms in it's going to give it an organic impact as you can see yes this is how you can create a magic box with your logo revealing inside so if you want this project file i'm going to leave a link in the description for you to download the project file if you learn something new on this video please hit the like button that will enable the algorithm to suggest this to more people if you have any question please feel free to ask me in the comment section and i'll reply to all questions as quick as i can if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet please subscribe to my youtube channel you can support me in any way you can give me super thanks subscribe to my membership whatever way you want to support me with even if you share the video that is also a huge support and it is highly appreciated if you like the video leaving a comment is all a support so in whatever way you are able to support me i highly appreciate you so until i see you again on the next one my name is ssb otaru from motion digit studios